Direction. In this section you will hear several text statement and question that will not print it on your text. Choose for best possible answer A, B, C, or D. Questions 1 to 5 refer to the following text. Concentration. Open your mind and understand what the speaker are saying. The question in the text will be play in two times. Recycling is a collection, processing, and reuse of materials that would otherwise be thrown away. Materials ranging from precious metals to broken glass, from old newspapers to plastic spoons, can be recycled. The recycling process reclaims the original material and uses it in new products. In general, using recycled materials to make new products costs less and requires less energy than using new materials. Recycling can also reduce pollution either by reducing the demand for high pollution alternatives or by minimizing the amount of pollution produced during the manufacturing process. Paper products that can be recycled include cardboard containers, wrapping paper, and office paper. The most commonly recycled paper product is newsprint. In newspaper recycling, old newspapers are collected and searched for contaminants such as plastic bags and aluminum foil. The paper goes to a processing plant where it is mixed with hot water and turned into pulp in a machine that works much like a big kitchen blender. The pulp is screened and filtered to remove smaller contaminants. The pulp then goes to a large vat where the ink separates from the paper fibers and effluents to the surface. The ink is skimmed off, dried and reused as ink or burned as boiler fuel. The clean pulp is mixed with new wood fibers to be made into paper again. Experts estimate the average office worker generated about 5 kilograms of waste paper per month. Every ton of paper that is recycled saves about 1.4 cubic meter of landfill space. One ton of recycled paper saves 17 pulpwood trees, trees used to produce paper. Recycling is a collection, processing, and reuse of materials that would otherwise be thrown away. Materials ranging from precious metals to broken glass, from old newspapers to plastic spoons, can be recycled. The recycling process reclaims the original material and uses it in new products. In general, using recycled materials to make new products costs less and requires less energy than using new materials. Recycling can also reduce pollution either by reducing the demand for high pollution alternatives or by minimizing the amount of pollution produced during the manufacturing process. Paper products that can be recycled include cardboard containers, wrapping paper, and office paper. The most commonly recycled paper product is newsprint. In newspaper recycling, Old newspapers are collected and searched for contaminants such as plastic bags and aluminum foil. The paper goes to a processing plant where it is mixed with hot water and turned into pulp in a machine that works much like a big kitchen blender. The pulp is screened and filtered to remove smaller contaminants. The pulp then goes to a large vat where the ink separates from the paper fibers and effluents to the surface. The ink is skimmed off dried and reused as ink or burned as boiler fuel. The clean pulp is mixed with new wood fibers to be made into paper again. Experts estimate the average office worker generated about 5 kilograms of waste paper per month. Every ton of paper that is recycled saves about 1.4 cubic meter of landfill space. One ton of recycled paper saves 17 pulpwood trees, trees used to produce paper. Question number 1. The following things can be recycled, except A. Precious metals B. Broken glass C. Old newspapers 
D. Plastic spoons. E. Fresh vegetables and fruits. Question number 1. The following things can be recycled, except A. Precious metals B. Broken glass C. Old newspapers D. Plastic spoons E. Fresh vegetables and fruits Question number 2. Which of the following is an OT the benefit of recycling? A. It costs much money for the process of recycling. B. It costs less to make new products. C. It requires less energy. D. It can reduce pollution. E. It reduces the demand for high pollution alternatives. Question number 2. Which of the following is an OT the benefit of recycling? A. It costs much money for the process of recycling. B. It costs less to make new products. C. It requires less energy. D. It can reduce pollution. E. It reduces the demand for high pollution alternatives. Question number 3. What is the third step of recycling paper products? A. Collect and search for contaminants such as plastic bags and aluminum foil. B. Mix the paper with hot water in a blender which turns it into pulp. C. Screen and filter the pulp to remove smaller contaminants. D. Put the pulp to a large vat to separate the ink from the paper fibers. E. Mix the pulp with new wood fibers to be made into paper again. Question number 3. What is the third step of recycling paper products? A. Collect and search for contaminants such as plastic bags and aluminum foil. B. Mix the paper with hot water in a blender which turns it into pulp. C. Screen and filter the pulp to remove smaller contaminants. D. Put the pulp to a large vat to separate the ink from the paper fibers. E. Mix the pulp with new wood fibers to be made into paper again. Question number 4. We can make use of the ink after being separated from the paper fibers by doing the followings, except a. Skim it off. B. Dry it. C. Reuse as ink. D. Burn as boiler fuel. E. Mix it with the pulp. Question number 4. We can make use of the ink after being separated from the paper fibers by doing the followings, except a. Skim it off. B. Dry it. C. Reuse as ink. D. Burn as boiler fuel. E. Mix it with the pulp. Question number 5. What is the text about? A. The process of recycling. B. How to process. C. Recycling machine. D. Aluminum Recycler E. Wood Recycles Process Question number 5. What is the text about? A. The Process of Recycling B. How to Process C. Recycling Machine D. Aluminum Recycler E would recycles process.